Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube community. H Factor 66. Today, I bring you some Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies on Ascension. That's right, I am playing Ascension once again in yet another attempt for high rounds, but this time with an even faster strategy. The strategy I've now adopted and I'm now using is the first room strategy. And I'm going to honestly say, the first room strategy is pretty good for me. I can run it easily, and it's much faster than the PhD strategy. And I'm, so I actually feel very confident about getting to high rounds with this strategy. And I feel much confident that I can do it much faster than the PhD strategy. So anyway, here's what I've been doing pretty much the entire game ever since I decided to run the P pack a punch, not the pack a punch, the first room strategy. It's been as quick as that. Oh, I missed one. Dang it. Yeah, that happens a few times. Sometimes I miss one and I have to circle around with them until the rest appear. But really, I'm finding this strategy to be a lot better and quicker than the PhD strategy and it's pretty simple so there isn't much to it so and I've been able to run this pretty easily oh look sweet free killing and then I have the and I also get that every now and then which kills a few zombies for me so I don't have to I really like that so that thing is getting free kills for me which means I don't have to waste ammo killing them myself it's pretty helpful May not be a ton of kills, but it's better than nothing. Anyway, this strategy is the, the first room strategy, or at least my version of it. And I've actually seen this strategy run by Big Dog DeLuca 103 and one of his friends on co op in a round 99 game, so that's where I adopted this strategy from, except they ran it a little bit differently than I'm doing right now. But still, a big thank you to Big Dog DeLuca. Because that's where I got him this strategy from. I got it from him. From seeing his round 99 on Ascension Co-op with one of his friends. Even though I know he runs it differently. But still, but still, thank you Big Dog DeLuca. Uh, that's enough of that. I love to care the two I missed. Got him. Yeah, I gotta. You normally I gotta make sure that I get all twenty-four zombies into the group before I shoot. That's not happening every time, so I'm still a bit scratchy on that. I'll have to smooth that out with more practice on this strategy. Just like the Pack-A-Punch strategy, I'm not perfect on this yet, but about 99%, about 95% of the time, I can run this strategy fluently without much difficulty. And really, I don't think a lot of players would have much difficulty running this strategy. And also, I've made an edit to my perk setup. I've edited Stamina Up to change it to Mule Kick. Because really, you don't need stamina up to run this strategy. And as my third weapon, I've had the RPK. For pretty much just any light, any machine gun I can get my hands on from the box. That has a lot of ammo. So really, I've been using that to keep my point stack built up. So it keeps it from running downhill. Even though, inevitably, when I have to put the Zeus Cannon back into the mystery box to get more ammo for later rounds... I'll un inevitably spend a lot of this money if I don't get it back in a few tries. The most I've ever spent trying to get the Thunder Gun out of the box again is like 55,000 points. Maybe more because I was just shooting them and shooting them every time I got a new gun. Except for the Ray Gun. Ray Gun is not a good point builder, definitely. 
However, I did get the Thunder Gun for the first time on round 33, which is, no, 34. 33 is my, the first down and only down of the game so far. So I haven't had much failure with this strategy. And for a while, I ran the PhD strategy because I didn't have the Thunder Gun. And I think this is the end of the round. So I think we're going to go hit the trap and kill him. Now let's use the Matryoshka, it'll be faster. Oh, oops, missed one. Alright, we have ten shots left. And I'm thinking Monkeys is going to be either 49 or 50. Not sure. Um, we're actually going to shoot him up with the RPK. I'm just gonna let him stutter in front of me since as long as you ha as long as you're shooting a zombie he can't hit you so if you're gonna get points off the last zombie on a high round I just advise just standing there shooting him and he'll just stutter in front of you he'll just stutter like this however this doesn't happen on the Wii version of zombies on black ops one so don't do that on the Wii, but for any other console, that will work. And I'm thinking 49 is going to be our monkeys. Yep, just as I thought. This is when I thought monkeys would come. And I was right. Let's go greet the monkeys, eh? Oh, I heard some explosions. Oh, here's a monkey. Come here, monkey. There. That's one. Way over here? No. Alright, where are they then? Also, uh, just in case you're wondering, the monkeys won't be attracted to the upgraded crossbow bolt, so you may as well not try to shoot them with an upgraded crossbow. Oh, that was a lot of monkeys near Juggernaut. Three. That's half the monkey round. Oh crap. I only have four shots. And I hear explosives. Nah. PhD is not that important. I can just buy it back. Oh, where is it? Where are you going, monkey? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, monkey? You ain't going nowhere. Alright, now we're going to get back to the first room. And here we have yet another successful round 50. But this time, I actually have a, two revives still. So I'm probably going to keep going on this game. And 48 and 49 only took me 8 minutes and 20 seconds. So yep, rounds are definitely faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. Just really, it does. Anyways, thank you, um, Big Dog DeLuca, for the idea on the strategy by watching your video. I just watched your video, so. Yeah. I've seen it a few times. So, you know, thanks for watching. I'll probably be posting some more high round gameplay if I get to round 60 or above 63, my current record. So, thank you guys so much for watching.